Whether a snake is hatched from an egg or given birth to live, they all have a cord like an umbilical cord that connects their body to a sack of nutrients and that will feed the snake while it grows and develops. Once a snake is born though, or once it's hatched, that cord breaks and what's left behind is a scar that is actually technically a belly button. This is one of our white-sided snow bull snakes that we just recently hatched. And if you look down here, and I chose this snake because it's so lightly colored that it's pretty much transparent. You can kind of see the organs through its body, but it'll be a good example of what I'm trying to show you here. And if you look at the underside of the snake, right here is where that umbilical cord attached and leading straight from this point up towards the snake's head is this critical vein and this was what was feeding or transferring the nutrients to the rest of the body of the snake. You can also see some of the other organs as you move your way up. You can see it even more if you hold a baby, especially a baby albino snake, up to the light. You can pretty much see straight through them. You've got some gas in there, boy. You can see all the veins. The heart is about a quarter of the way down the snake and the lighting is pretty rough here. So I'm actually going to move them. Kind of weird, but really fascinating at the same time. Now, this one is especially transparent because it's so young. Hatchling snakes like this one have very soft scales and they haven't quite hardened up yet, which is pretty much why they're so transparent. You can like see straight through them. After the first shed in a week or so, they do harden up. So I'm showing you a very, very young bull snake right now, just so I can uh, give you an idea of what's on the inside. Once a snake is older and those scales harden up, it's much harder to see. However, the scarring left behind from their umbilical cord leaves a belly button. On adult snakes, the belly button isn't quite as obvious, but you can usually still find it towards the lower half of their body. Actually, his looks to be right here. See that little line there? That is his belly button. We're going to try it on a more commonly kept species, the ball python. Again, we're going to look at the underside of her belly. Oh, and actually I see it right there. That line is her belly button. You can't see the uh, vein running up it anymore because her scales have hardened and whitened and therefore they're not transparent anymore, but you can imagine where it is. So I hope you learned something new today. Your homework now is to go check out your own snake and see if you can find its belly button. Let me know in the comments if you're successful or not, and we'll see you next time.